Hello, welcome to Pragmatic Training. Web Applications Performance Testing with JMeter. In this short video, I'll show you how to record a test using uh, JMeter, JMeter HTTPS script recorder. Let's see how it works in a normal scenario with the web browser. You have application under test, your application and a web browser, Safari, Firefox or uh, Google Chrome and you send a request HTTP or HTTPS request and a response is received from the uh, application to the browser. Now let's see how it works in uh, the proxy environment. Uh, all the requests will go through the pro JMeter proxy server which is nothing but HTTPS script recorder and uh, when all the requests are going through the proxy server JMeter understand the request going through it and it can create the test plans for you so all the requests will be recorded and available for you to configure and reuse so let's see how it works in uh, how we create the scripts using HTTPS recorder in these versions, this video I'll be using JMeter 5.2.1, the latest version. And if you go to the uh, official website and see the tutorial and recording test, it does not cover as per the, uh, the latest version. So this will be useful for you. Uh, go to uh, template menu and uh, select the recording options. Also you can get the template from go to file and click templates. Select the recording again. If you wish to include think time as well, select this and click create. You can next set the uh, the domain name in our case we are using hrm dot pragmatic test labs dot com and uh, recording output file this will be useful for you uh, later reference as well and this file will go into the bin folder the your project folder and we'll give hrm to separate out from the others and the scheme we are using is HTTP and click create all these settings are going to the user defined variable if you wish to change after doing the, the basic configuration you can change them here later okay once it is done you can select the HTTPS test script recorder and uh, this is the the port assign going to be assigned for the proxy jmeter proxy and if this is already occupied on your machine you can change it to different port once this is done you can start the proxy and you can ignore this message for the moment actually it is for the https recording where root certificate is created you can uh, give the transaction name or the prefix in this case i am giving transaction name access the login page so this will be useful for readability now you let's see how to set a proxy for your browser it may be different for browser to browser i am on mac and let's see how to do on mac Click on Apple icon and select system preferences and search for proxy and select the HTTPS and ensure that this is clicked and local host and the port number. The port number should match this port number and this port number. And since you are on uh, the same machine you put local lost if it's not the case 
you should put the IP address. Go to web browser and go here. I am removing this and pressing the enter button hard so that the request will be recorded. Okay, the script is recorded and you get this one as well. If you don't get this recorded, there could be several reasons. We'll be discussing about that uh, later. Uh, if this is not getting recorded, you can, uh, you may have to uh, clear the cache out, cache, and uh, restart again. If unnecessary uh, requests are getting recorded, you may have to filter out them through this one request filtering and exclusions likewise so these exclusions are available by default now let's say login to the system now i'll go again to the system and type the username as admin And click the login button and I have logged in let's see with um, log into the system and let's see whether yeah my username and passwords are getting recorded here and there's a session ID which which is hard coded and uh, this should be handled dynamically and I'll be covering that in a later video so let's uh, change the transaction name again log out and now we will be finishing our simple script yeah. once it is done your recording is done always stop the proxy server so that you don't get any additional or unnecessary uh, request recorded here so in this short video I showed you how to record a test scenario or the script uh, using HTTPS test script recorder thanks for watching in next video I'll show you how to handle the the session IDs using uh, post processors Thanks for watching.